Okay, this is Mario with MIA Microflight once again, and you're viewing the MIA 2.0 Easy Trike, and this one has an extended wing. This one is a little bit larger than the orange wing that I showed previously in some uh, of my YouTube videos. As you can see here, it takes almost a full room to display this uh, model. The pilot is the typical and original MIA 2.0 pilot that I had in the very first Easy 2.0 trikes. Those were much, much simpler, much, much lighter. And of course, I did those uh, many years ago <clears throat> in line with the MIA Easy line of micro lights and trikes. As typical with the MIA micro light design, this one also uses a unique control system. You will not find this control system in any micro lights other than MIA micro flights uh, designs. And if you do, it's probably because somebody has bought one of our kits. This uh, wing also uses the MIA trademark connections to the trailing edge of the wing to establish the correct washout. Real micro lights employ two devices on each end of the wing. One of them is a washout uh, strut which maintains a certain washout on the tip at all times and that is fixed on an angle in reference to the leading edge tube. And right next to that there is a, another device that's called a sprog. Uh, basically the same thing as an elevator does, a trim uh, elevator function does on a real uh, three-axis uh, ultralight or airplane. So basically the sprog does the same thing on the real micro lights. It's a way to establish a trim function on the on the wing. And of course the washout uh, rods, they maintain that angle. It does not allow the wing to go into a positive angle of attack on the tips. You need you need to have positive angle of attack on the center portion of the wing. That's why you have that V that you can see here. And that's the anhedral that you see on this wing. But you also have to have washout on this, the wings. I explained that in other videos that I show my, my wings. Uh, it, it's a must for these uh, types of aircrafts to, in order to fly stable. Otherwise, without the washout, a certain uh, amount of uh, washout you're going to uh, experience a wing that wants to uh, uh, flip over. On real auto lights, many accidents have been caused by um, too little washout or a lack of washout at the wing tips or something that has failed in those mechanical uh, uh, components that uh, provide that uh, stability in this, these types of uh, uh, flex wing designs. Very similar in this model, uh, it, it uses a similar uh, mechanism, uh, but I'm only employing one rod in my wings. And so you can see, you know, the uh, outermost uh, rods that hold the rear section of the uh, wing um, at the proper angle at all times. There is no way that this wing can enter a um, a tip over. At least, uh, I mean, it, it can do certainly do flips, backward flips, and uh, it will maintain that uh, geometry throughout the, the flip. That's one of the reasons since MIA micro lights are able to do the flips as you see them in my videos. Uh, if you try that with a wing that has cable supports with a kink post and the wing is floppy and it's only supported by the cables on top, if you don't have enough momentum with those wings, there's a chance that the wing might collapse and it might become too floppy where it doesn't maintain those uh, proper angles at the uh, wing tips uh, at all times. So that's one of the biggest, biggest differences in the, the way I design and, and build these uh, mechanical components on my wings. The control bar also is another feature that I, after much testing and trials and errors with the original ways of doing a, a control bar, you know, I'm talking about the triangulation uh, that the pilot holds onto the main bar and then it's triangulated all the way to the top to the main mast. Typically, the, you know, those uh, that triangle is connected either to the front 
or um, uh, behind the uh, pivot point, which would be your universal joint on, on a micro light. That's where the, the, the wing pivots and the weight underneath it shifts um, fore aft, side to side. Uh, it's another feature that the way I designed this is to employ a much more robust uh, control mechanism because you're employing two servos uh, to do the control uh, and this is the typical two servo at the back very similar to the way RC auto gyros are done this is nothing new RC auto gyros employ the same two rods in an Alban configuration mixing to the basically um, uh, to the lifting surface, which uh, in this case is a, is a wing, in, in an auto gyro it's a, it's, a, it's a rotary wing. You know, once that those blades spin up and they become a lifting surface, you're basically doing the same thing. You're w shifting the weight of the, the aircraft underneath that lifting surface. So anyway, just um, wanted to make this video and just uh, provide some kind of a reference as to where this is at, this project. This is almost ready for flight. Um, I need to make the connections to the ESC. Uh, and uh, install the battery and go test flight. So I'm looking for some nice weather, maybe this coming weekend uh, or maybe during the, even this week. Uh, we can probably do that and I will be posting a video of that very soon. Uh, this is my personal trike and I'm building a similar one for a customer of mine who's going to be installing a four-stroke engine on this model. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.